Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Depop. Today I have another what sold video for you. This is what has sold in the first half of February. So I am doing the first through the 15th. That will include 30 items in total. I will be sharing them in order of date sold. The first three sales of the month were all sourced from Nordstrom Rack. First off were these Stuart Weitzman Mariposa leather pumps. They were these really pretty heels. I paid $57.09 for them. After 123 days, they sold for $115.60 on eBay. That does include shipping. So that left me with a profit of $31.75. Next up were a really cute pair of pants by Reformation. This is the Frankline Check pants in this beige red color. I paid $40.79. After 76 days, they sold for $100. That left me with a profit of $39.21. Next up is a dress by Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. This print on this dress had me reaching for it so quickly at the store. I haven't seen a print like this before and immediately fell in love. This sold on Mercari for $100. I had paid $50.40. It took 129 days to sell, but that left me with a profit of $36.20. Next up is a dress by Halston Heritage. It was this lime green mini dress. I got this via liquidation and it was a secondhand item. I paid $13.25. It ended up selling for $40. That left me with a profit of $18.75. Next up, we have an Everlane item. If you've seen any of my past videos, you know I really enjoy selling items from this brand. This one is the Block Hill Sandal in this dusty blue color. It was a leather upper that was lizard embossed. I thought these were so cute. I paid $26.55 for them. After 17 days, they sold for $50. That left me with a profit of $13.45. Next up is an item that I actually lost money on. So these are the Free People Mott Street Flare Trousers in this tobacco ginger color. I thought these were very cute. I sourced them from Nordstrom Rack. I paid $41.54. After 79 days, they sold for $50. That left me with negative $1.54 on these. This item sold when I sent out 40% off offers. So with me losing money on it, that tells me that I didn't have it priced high enough to be sending out such a big discount or that I should have not picked it up altogether if the comps weren't supporting me pricing it higher than that because the profit margin wasn't that good. The other option that I have heard of other resellers doing is sending out a specific percentage off on each item. That way they ensure that they're hitting the profit margin that they want to hit on that item. Currently, I just use Posher VA and every weekend I send out 20, 30, or 40% off, dependent on how sales are going and how much I'm really trying to push those sales at that time. I also price somewhat on the higher end of comps, usually about um, middle to high range. That way I can still send out those offers and make usually the profit I want to make and not have to go item by item. If you send out offers regularly, I'm curious, what do you do? Do you send out mass offers? Do you go item by item? Be sure to comment in the comments and let me know what works well for you. Okay, next up we have this Everlane dress. This is the field shirt dress in black. This is a liquidation find. I paid $16.20. After eight days, it sold for $53 on Depop. That left me with $24.90. Next up, we have this mage puffer jacket. The style is Brax. 
I purchased this in 2021. It took forever to sell. I had such a hard time selling this. I actually sent it into the real real because I could not sell it on my own. And it did sell. It sold for $87.50. I had paid $31.50 and since Real Real does a percentage payout, I actually ended up losing money. I lost $13.50 on this. After trying to sell this item on my own for about a year and a half, if not a little bit longer, I was just happy to see it go and recoup some of the investment on this item. I'm not sure why this item was such a hard sale. Um, mage for me it can be hit or miss. I've had some styles do really well and sell really high and I've had others that I just cannot move. I'm curious if you have the same experience with mage. I will definitely be more picky with this brand if I come across it in the future. These came via liquidation so I did not have a choice in the styles. Next up is this swimsuit by the brand Longitude. This is a shortini one-piece swimsuit in this black color. This came via liquidation and I paid $2.75 for it. It took a while to sell, 232 days. It did sell for $81 though and that left me with a profit of $60.33. Next up is another brand that I do really enjoy selling. It is Show Me Your Moo Moo. This is the Verona cowl dress in this really pretty steel blue color. It is their luxe satin fabric, which in my experience has sold rather quickly for some styles. I paid $12.93. It only took 11 days to sell and it ended up selling full price for $90. That left me with a profit of $59.07. Next up, we have these Free People Good Karma leggings in this violet tie-dye color. I got these via liquidation. I paid $12.50. They took 140 days to sell. They sold for $43, which left me with $20.18. Next up, we have this Peanuts figurine. This is the Riverboat Captain Snoopy. This was a repeat buyer on eBay who actually had previously bought a Peanuts figurine. I paid $1.50 for this item. It sold for $50.20 including shipping. So that left me with a profit of $33.91. And drum roll please. This is the highest profit on this video. So this item brought in $182.45 profit. I found this Brunello Cuccinelli cashmere v-neck sweater at a Plato's closet. It was priced at $10.55 and I tried to sell it on my own at first and it wasn't getting the amount of attention I was hoping for so I sent it into the real real. It sold for $321 and with this being a higher end item they had a 60% consignment payout which left me with a high profit so this was definitely a great find next up we have this sweater by the brand wooden ships wooden ships is sold at anthropology i picked this up because it was so soft this sweater um had a mohair blend and once i felt it i knew it was worth looking into and i felt like it was kind of more of a trendy piece with it having pumpkin on the chest written out. So I picked it up for $10.97. I picked it up in January, so after kind of the pumpkin fall season. So I wasn't sure if it would sell quickly, but it did. It sold in seven days. It sold for $42, so that left me with $22.63. Next up, another Show Me Your Moo Moo dress. This is the Faith Maxi dress in champagne. I paid $12.93. 16 days later, it sold for 70. That left me with $43.07 on this item. Next up is a very cute Everlane piece. This is the chunky cardigan zip jacket in black. They had this for sale on the Everlane website. So I think I priced right about the same price 
hoping that I could still make the sale, but also leave room for offers potentially. Um, I paid $11.92 and this item sold in just two days. Someone sent me an offer for $55 and I accepted. That left me with $32.08 profit. Next up, we have this gorgeous suit set by NBD. This is the Bennett blazer jacket and the Axel pants in this copper color. I paid $11.53 for the set. It did take a bit longer to sell, 143 days. It sold via offer uh, for $75. That left me with a profit of $48.47. Next up are these really cute, I feel like trendy pants. They're the rib flare pants by the brand Alex NYC. I got these at Nordstrom Rack during the insane clearance haul, which I'll link up on the screen. They cost me $16.10. They did take a bit longer to sell, 142 days. They sold for $45, which left me with $19.90 profit. The next two sales were the same style of item, just in different colors. This is the Everlane Cashmere Henley half button sweater in a rose pink color first. I paid $11.92 and it sold in three days, so super quick sale. It sold for $55.65 on eBay, including shipping, and that left me with $32 profit. The same sweater in this black color, it sold also in three days, but for $76 on Mercari, and that left me with a profit of $53.78. If you come across this style in good condition or new with tags, I do recommend picking it up. Based on my experience with these two pieces, it sold very quickly and for good profit. Next up, we have this Everlane The Track Half Zip Jacket in black. I paid $11.92 for this. It sold in one day. Someone accepted my Posher VA auto offer for $54, and that left me with a profit of $29.56. Next up, we have these Carl Lagerfeld Jules Slip-On Sneakers in black leather. I paid $30.78 at Nordstrom Rack. After 85 days, it sold for $60, and that left me with a profit of $17.22. Next up, another Everlane item. This is the Track Jogger Sweatpants in this light heather gray color. I paid $8.98 and it sold same day for $57. That left me with a profit of $36.62. Next up are these Everlane Italian Leather Day Heels in black. I have had quite a few of this style just in different colors and they've all done pretty well. This item took 32 days to sell. I paid $26.55 and it sold for 70 that left me with $29.45. Next up, we have the Everlane Dream Pant in this heathered charcoal gray color. These were new without tags. I paid $8.98. Within one day of listing, someone sent me an offer for $40, and I accepted. That left me with a profit of $23.02. Next up are these APL sneakers. This is the Techloom Wave sneaker, and I paid $33.48 at Nordstrom Rack. It took 135 days to sell. Someone sent me an offer for 50, and I accepted. That left me with $6.52 profit. These shoes were not getting a lot of attention and they also were very oversaturated on Poshmark. So when someone sent me an offer, for 50, I was just happy to move on from them, especially after 135 days. Next up are these gorgeous heels by Badgley Mishka. These were just screaming bridal to me. They had the embellished upper and the like soft, delicate white to them. Anyways, I adored them. I would have totally worn them for my wedding. I paid $44.08 for them at Nordstrom Rack. They took 136 days to sell. They sold for $100. That left me with a profit of $35.92. Next up are these Lucky Brand jeans. These are the Low Rise Lolita skinny jeans in white. These were a liquidation find 
and I paid $6.12. They took 16 days to sell and they sold for $40. That left me with $25.88. Next up, we have this really cute turtleneck shirt by Everlane. This is the Pima Micro Rib turtleneck in this crimson red color. This was liquidation. I paid $8.89. It sold in one day for full price. It sold for $50, which left me with a profit of $31.02. Last but not least, we have another Everlane item. This is the organic cotton quilted shirt jacket in this really pretty slate blue color. I paid $11.92 for it. It sold in a bundle five days later. It sold for $55 and that left me with a profit of $32.08. It seems like Everlane is slowly becoming a bread and butter brand for me. If I can keep getting a hold of it, I will happily do so. But I'm curious, what is your bread and butter brand? What do you sell a lot of um, for pretty decent profit? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. I am curious. And I just want to thank you for watching, hanging out with me, seeing what has sold. If you enjoy this video, please hit that like button and let me know down below. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. There's also a bell notification that will send you an alert every time a new video comes out. So be sure to hit that as well. Thanks for watching.